everyone, my name is Shrey Ninzi and as you can see, I have really bad acne. I haven't done that intro in a really long time. You guys, my skin was looking like absolute garbage and it was due to that time of the month. I've noticed my skin freaks out now during that time of the month where before it didn't. My hormones are literally all over the place. So I know that my acne is because of that, but also my skincare is helping as well. And I know you guys are requesting me to do the skincare routine and don't worry, I will do that for you guys. I'm just trying to figure out what to do. I just want it to be the best for you guys. So I'm just putting a lot of pressure on myself. Yeah. So today I have some new products to try for you guys. I did an Ulta haul with my boyfriend, my boo thing, my bae, my butter, my everything. And hopefully you guys will watch that video. If not, I will put it in the cards or down below. I always say that, but I never do it. Maybe I will do it or just check my channel, see his beautiful face, and you know that that's an Ulta haul. So I'm going to try some of those products out for you guys on camera and just kind of mess around with the makeup. I got some new things as well from Sigma. They got some new brow products, kind of cool. So I'm gonna actually start out with eyeshadow, which I haven't done in years. I used to do my eyeshadow first, and it's been a long, 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 long time since I've done it that way. So I already have eyeshadow primer on my eyelids. I use the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer here. And then I would normally go in with some type of concealer. I'm gonna be using, hmm, I'll use the uh, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer here. And put that, I don't know, this feels so weird. I have done, I've been doing my skin first ever since my acne got really bad. Sigma came out with these um, like precision brushes. This is the P87 Edge Precision Brush here, and that's what that looks like. So I'm gonna use that to blend out this concealer. I probably have a bit too much, but that's okay. We're gonna work with it. Concealer is laid. We've got a nice base, just went over that with my fingers, this edge really gets like in the corners there and it's really, really nice. So now we have a nice base. I'm gonna go ahead and set it with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder with a sponge of some kind. I always just go for the Real Techniques sponge. I've tried other loose powders before and just none of them hold up like this one, I've tried the RC May, and I've tried the Milk one, I've tried the the Airspun, Cody Airspun. Tried this one on myself, skin did not like that. The Maybelline Fit Me, maybe I'll put a little bit of this on since it's like a colored base. I like this um, under my eyes more, but we'll, we'll just we'll just do this, just to put a little bit more color, just to make that nice and neat. But again, my skin is different than your skin, so try whatever you want to, whatever your heart desires. I'm be using the uh, JS2. In the video, I kept saying 52 because it looks like a five, but it's an S. It's an S because Jeffrey Star. Hello, I'm intelligent. Anyway, so got a nice base going on and today I'm going to be trying out the Essence eyeshadow palette that I hauled and I said that this sucked and it was not very good so I did this after my foundation so if it's an absolute fail it won't be that bad I can just take this part off and it'll be okay <laughs> this is the beautiful eyeshadow palette by Essence got mine at Ulta here this was really inexpensive it's got some beautiful shades just a really nice neutral palette looking pretty snazzy jump right into a brush i'll use the sigma diffused crease e38 brush we'll go in with the color on my own which is in the middle there all right this seems to be blending a lot a lot a lot better i really like this color 
fired up and I used that the last time I was doing my makeup too and it just did not look pretty whatsoever it was not it was not cute I'll just stay with the same brush and this color looked muddy it looked like a disaster it just was not blending oh, see it's kind of doing that again But I really think it was my foundation. It did not look cute. I'm just going to go back in with on my own. Kind of blend. Alright, I'm going to go in with the Sigma Buff and Blend E39 brush. And I'll kind of deepen that up a little bit with my time. It has like this weird... I don't know if I got it wet or something. All my eyeshadow looks been looking the same. Oh, that color is non-existent. Oh, that. It swatches okay, but that's because I'm pushing really hard. Hmm, that is not, that's not blending too cute. Let's do taupe up, which is this gold color, not like a hmm. taupe like more of a gold that's not very pigmented well I just ate my words I'm like going on about how great these eyeshadows are I suggest the singles over these palettes yeah that like isn't even showing up at all but I do have this to try this is the Revlon putty powder eye beam and it's like this super super soft glittery like you can kind of see that indent and there reminds me of the color pop shadows but like it's literally just straight up glitter it has no like real pigment to it at all um i'll use like a flat i'll use like a concealer brush this is a cream color e58 by sigma go on it's just really glittery can you see that not really sticking. I finally caved and bought one of these. This is the Stila, you know, liquid um, glitter and glow glitter things. I got mine in the color Diamond Dust. I finally caved and got one. I saw people got these in their Beautylish box and I was so jelly because I was like, I've always wanted to try these. But maybe I'll put a little bit of this down because it's kind of sticky. These are super glittery. Like you don't need much at all. Now put this on top. Let's try it with my finger. Not much better really. If you can see there's like fingerprints all up. It's so soft like nothing really comes out. So that's gonna go back to Ulta. I'm going to go ahead and do my foundation. Um, I'm not going to try a new foundation today just because I want my skin to kind of calm down a little bit first. But I'm going to do my famous combination, the CoverGirl Outlast All Day and the Maybelline Superstay. And then I'll show you guys my powder. Um, a lot of you guys say, show us how you do your powder and all that stuff. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. I love this brush for concealer, especially with the eyeshadow. This is the Sigma 40 HD Kabuki, like the triangle one, this angle. I know I've talked about this before, but it just fits so well under the eyeballs. Mm. Okay, so with the powder, I set my under eyes with the Laura Mercier Translucent setting powder with a sponge and I set the rest like around my nose here chin and then between my eyebrows then for the rest of my face I use the Maybelline Superstay full coverage pressed powder um, I'm kind of in between I don't know what color I am exactly I mix these two 110 porcelain and 120 classic ivory they're both very similar but also different so I kind of just 
dip them both in and I use the CoverGirl powder sponge. I really, really like these because the sponge that these come with is not good at all. So I kind of just go between the both of them. I'll do the dark one and then the lighter one like that. And I put like, look at that coverage. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the coverage on this powder is insane. I'm not going to use any other powder because like you get such great coverage with this. Definitely check these out. So good. For under my eyes, I'm going to go in with a different eyeshadow palette. I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild My Glamour Quad. Oh, My Glamour Squad. Excuse me. <laughs> um, this color icon thing. I think this one is called My Glamour Squad. Um, I believe so. But these colors are so beautiful. I use this one. This is the Rosé and the Air Quad. And I use this, or not quad, but thing. <laughs> I use that one a lot. And this one, the colors in this are so pretty. It's got some shimmers and some really nice mattes in there. These are so, so good. So I'll go and use this for under my eyes, I think. I'll use the Sigma Exact Blend E32 brush. And I'll go in with maybe like a mix of these two colors here. Just kind of go under the eye. Like these are so pigmented. Can we see that? Mm -hmm. I wonder if this color here is going to be too dark for like my inner corner. This one here. Let's see. A little dark, but I'll just do that to make it match. Cute, she cute. I don't feel like doing eyeliner today. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and jump into mascara. This is an older mascara, but I saw it because they had some newer L'Oreal mascaras, but I just wanted to try this one. <laughs> this is the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes Mascara. I recently got a lash perm done. Um, a friend of mine who does my eyelash extensions and like my some of my facials oops and some of my facials and like waxings and all that stuff she recently started doing eyelash perming so i let her um practice on me and it didn't do the best my eyelashes are so stick straight but after i curl my eyelashes they stay up a lot longer um which is really nice like they have a little bit of a curve to them but it's not like anything spectacular or anything <laughs> Um, so for me, I don't think it's something I would personally do again, but like my eyelashes just stay up and look so much better. Can, I don't know if you can tell, but yeah. The mascara I always go for is the Colossal Volume Express by Maybelline. So I thought I would just try something different. And this one is waterproof as well. Waterproof just holds my eyelashes a lot better. That actually did a really nice job. Mm. Got these new brow products to try from Sigma. So they sent over a bunch of new things. There is a fill and blend brow pencil, a tint and tame brow gel. Um, they've got a powder duo as well. Some cleanup brow crayon. Um, ooh, priming control brow wax. What? And I think a pomade too. Define and pose pomade, which is what I used Anastasia dip brow pomade. All right, I went ahead and unboxed everything. So let's start with the Prime and Control Brow Wax. Oh, I've never used something like this before. So I guess um, I'm gonna just rub it in. This is the um, Brow and Lash E80 Spoolie. Love this. Just gonna kind of. And don't judge me. The way I do my eyebrows is kind of weird. And my eyebrows look kind of funny. Anyway, so. Okay. Ooh. I don't know. It feels like I'm putting something on. Oh, I see it like laying down the hairs. Laying down the house. That was interesting. Very cool. So if you're very hefty about your eyebrows, I would suggest starting with something like that. All right, what should we do? I got everything in the color medium. Here is the 
powder. So we've got like a lighter one and then a darker one. Then we've got a pencil, which I really like using pencils, and then the pomade. Let's try the pencil first. That is so tiny! Oh my gosh, that's super tiny! I've used the NYX pen. This is so tiny. This is so tiny. I'm not an expert on eyebrows. Not bad. Let's try the pomade on the other side. Here's the pomade. And I'm going to use the E65 brush. I kind of like this pomade a little bit better. It's not as, I mean, it's soft, but it's not so soft. There are my eyebrows. Looking fancy. My brows are looking intense today. And let's try the tinted brow gel to set my brows in place. Here it is, Tint and Tame Brow Gel. So it does have like a color to it. This will be good on like no makeup days for sure. My eyebrows are looking, it's the most intense my eyebrows have ever looked. <laughs> All really nice products. Oh yeah, my hairs are not going anywhere. They are locked down. Like they are locked down. My eyebrows are looking real intense right now. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some eyelashes. I'm gonna use the House of Lashes Lashes in Siren. Actually, let's just go ahead and do the rest of my face. I'm gonna try the Milani Silky Matte Sunkissed Bronzer today. I can't remember if I've tried this in a video yet. I'm gonna use that. It smells really nice. Don't really have like a blush to try really I'll use a different blush in the Sigma blush and cheek palette I've been wearing this one a lot the color Court de Rosa it, I don't know let's try like tiger lily orangey so a little bit of a shimmer to it a little bit nice and then I'll use some new highlight that I've got to try today. I'll use the Jeffrey Star JS4 highlighting brush with the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Mm-hmm. I like blending it out a little bit so it's not so. And then I do some Slay All Day with the Dry Cosmetics Slay All Day. And I've got the Milani Matte Satin Liquid Lipstick. Let's see if this matches my look. It might not. It's a little taupey. Let's go in with the ColourPop Lipstick in Appy. Now I'll put the lashes of lashes, lashes, house of lashes, lashes, and siren on. So here is the finished look. What do you guys think? Um, I loved playing around with some new makeup for you guys. Just kind of getting ready, just doing a little sit down, test out some products. Um, yeah, definitely. Let me know what other products you guys want me to try. What are your favorite things at Ulta right now? Where's your favorite place to shop for makeup? Let me know in the comment section. I know I don't always reply, but I'm always reading what you guys say in the comment section. So definitely leave some suggestions down 
below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Ninzi. You guys are at 13.9 thousand followers on Instagram. You guys are amazing. I can't believe that I have that many followers. It's just kind of, it's kind of crazy. Thank you guys so, so much. So anyway, I'm off. Going to do my day and uh, yeah, catch you on the flip side. Bye. Bye. I did not just dab. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just did that.